Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Legend of Wonder Woman, which is a new mini series from uh, DC Comics, which I think it's about like nine issues, eight issues. This is gonna be. Uh, but before I start talking about Wonder Woman, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know, um, episode 129, and that's show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are all the exclusive comics. There are a lot, so bear with me. Earth Two Society issue eight, Arrow the Dark Archer issue one. No, New Romancer, issue 2. Mirror's Edge, issue 5. Birthright, issue 13. Inferno Resurrection, issue 1. Grim Fairy Tales, issue 118. Rowan's Ruin, issue 4. The Troop, issue 2. Batman and Robin Eternal, issue 15. Shorty X-Men, issue, fi uh, issue 5. Batman Superman, issue 28. Green Lantern, Edge of Oblivion, issue 1. All new um, X Men issue three, Web Warriors issue three, The Violent issue two, Starfire issue eight, All new All Different Avengers issue three, All new Wolverine issue four, Guardians of the Galaxy issue four, All new Hawkeye issue three, Silk issue three. And Huck issue 3. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know, episode 129, which is annotated. But let's start talking about The Legend of Wonder Woman, issue 1, which, like I said, is an origin, well, is a mini series, which is the origin story of Wonder Woman. And I was looking forward to this. It's actually a digital first book. Um, most of the time, I will read digital first books printed. Now, there are some digital first comics that are coming out actually this month that are not being printed, like the uh, Arrow Dark Archer. I'm reading that digitally, and it's going to be part of Comic Uno episode, as you saw. And also, um, The Adventures of Supergirl, which is also not going to be printed. I'll be reading that in chapters, too. I might do a review for the first chapter on this channel. Let me know if you want that. But Legends of Wonder Woman, also a digital first book. So some of the chapters already came out, but this is the printed version of the book, which I personally like reading um, better like this. So um, very cool cover here. We have Wonder Woman as an adult, though. A little misleading. Oh, actually, never mind. Um, you do have young Wonder Woman in the background, so not misleading at all. But I really like the artwork here. Um, really good art. Uh, but let's see what's going on with the interior artwork. Um, I will say uh, I wasn't so keen on the artwork in the interior. It just wasn't my type of style. I thought I understood where they're going with it. It's obviously a younger Wonder Woman, so you want to make her look a, a bit younger here. But I thought the artwork was a little bit on the puffy side, you know, kind of the cartoonier side, which again is totally understandable. So yeah, artwork is not too bad. Um, definitely clean artwork, but it's just not totally my type of style. And sorry my camera is like a little bit darker now. I don't know why uh, because of that artwork. Uh, anyways, oh, it's getting brighter now. Okay, so let's start talking about the story. All right, so in this issue, it's honestly mostly about Wonder Woman's mother and, and the lore of the Greek gods. So it's very much a lot of... Um, expositions like oh well this is what happened this is why Wonder Woman's mother could not have um, have a child and these are the wars that happened in the past so a lot of the issues about that just learning about the lore of, of, of Wonder Woman really and, and how she came to be so there was this uh, she was able to uh, conceive uh, Wonder Woman through clay which is one of the origins of Wonder Woman I guess that's the way they're going here uh, and then we see a younger Wonder Woman. Uh, she is learning a lot of language and, and book stuff, but Diana wants to learn more about uh, fighting. And her mom's like, you know, we've dealt with war and you have nothing to do with that, so you don't need to learn how to fight. But Diana, she's able to find somebody that help her, helps her learn how to fight, and she convinces her to help her learn how to fight. And it seems like the next issue we're going to get a little bit more of that. So what I think overall, um, for me personally, I thought it was a good book, but it wasn't my thing. Uh, so I'm not a huge Greek god fan. I like Wonder Woman, but she's not my favorite character of all time, but I obviously do like reading her stories. So when you have a lot of exposition like this, um, I felt they could have... They could have explained it in a better way. They just took a lot of time to explain the history of um, of Wonder Woman's mother, really. Not even not even Diana. So um, 
I like the last half of the book, and that's good, because that means I'll probably like issue two a bit more than I liked issue one. So warning is, uh, it's a lot of information in one issue, and I don't feel like, I think they could have presented it more in a, in a fun way. I felt like it was very much talking heads, like, this is what happened back then, here's a story I'm telling you, um, in a lot of dialogue. So I think they could have done a little bit better of that uh, type of story. It's, it's really the first good chunk of it is is the exposition here here's an example of that obviously they do show you artwork on the side but I think they could have just could have made it more entertaining uh, so overall for me for this first issue I gave it two and a half stars because again the art style wasn't so much for me and then um, a lot of the storytelling wasn't so much for me but that doesn't mean you won't enjoy it um, I, I think this definitely has a possibility of you enjoying it if you like these type of stuff. And also, it's, it doesn't mean I'm not going to not enjoy issue two. So I'm definitely going to pick up issue two. I think I will enjoy that more once we get into Diana's story a bit more and see her grow up. So um, The Legend of Wonder Woman issue one gets two and a half stars, sadly, but I will definitely pick up the next issue. All right, so... Um, let me know what you thought of the issue in the comments below. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.